Hey, this is Onesto, and today I'm showing you six of my favorite ways to use Playbox from Native Instruments. Playbox is an unusual plugin, and when this video was released, it was a brand new plugin, so before I get to the first tip, I'm going to quickly explain what this instrument does. Playbox is all about chords, and it does this in two ways chord generation and chord sound design. So for chord generation, whenever you open up Playbox, head over to the chord panel, which is right here. And when you open up, you see all these different columns in here, and each column represents a different chord. So in this first column here, we have an E2, B2, E3, and a G3. And to play out this chord, all you have to do is hit its respective key on the MIDI keyboard. Now on your MIDI keyboard, only eight keys will be active and the eight keys will correlate to each of these columns here. That means the rest of your MIDI keyboard is not gonna do anything. It's just those eight single keys. Now when it comes to sound design, let me open up the samples tab here. Once again, we still have all of our blocks in here. We have the note that each block is corresponding to right next to it. So looking at the fourth column this time, if we click each block, we can hear the samples that are gonna be layered together. Like that. And of course, you can easily swap out these samples. Let's say you don't like this sound for whatever reason. You can click this, and let's say I want there to be a synth in this, uh, in this row here. I can click this little random dice knob, and now suddenly, these are gonna be more synth-based sounds. And you notice how the block changed to a different visual style. Um, every uh, sound has its own look and feel to it. So in practice, when you have a loop, it's just really easy to write in a chord progression because here are all your chords. You just hit the notes and, and play along with it. So uh, let's see what I can do here. Okay, so something like this. Okay, that was a really ultra quick walkthrough of this plugin, so now let's get to the first tip. Because chord and sound generation is a focus, Native Instruments, they put these little randomization dice pretty much all around the plugin. So you can click it and get a random preset or setting in return. But the tricky thing with randomization is that it can be hard to embrace because half the time it's spitting stuff out that's not very useful. However, I think there's a smart way to go about randomization. First off, I don't like using this global randomization dice here. When you click it, everything in here gets randomized like chords, samples, and effects. Sometimes it works, but a lot of times it's just a little too random for me. Instead, I like to start off with the preset. We can even click this little randomization thing to give us a random preset here. So it gave us the relish preset. Let's see, let's hear how it sounds. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm digging that. So now what I'll do is I'll listen to what I like and what I do not like about the preset. And where I wanna hear it change, that's what I'll choose to randomize next. So let me hear this again. Cool, I really like the chords, I really like the samples, but let's see if I can get a better effects. Let's try it out. Here we go. Yeah, like that's really cool. Let's take our chances, do one more time. Brain Dirty Dreams, let's hear how that one sounds. Really cool, let's see if I can make it not so tuny crazy. Sweet, I like that one a whole lot. Now let's hear how it sounds in this uh, loop here. Okay, the next tip helps expand the versatility of Playbox's chord generation. And that's being able to drag MIDI into Playbox and dragging it out of Playbox. So let's say you're using Playbox, you really like the sound layers and the effects that it's bringing, but you wanna try out some different chords. Um, so what you can do is look in your MIDI that you collected over the years and then just click and drag something in. So for example, I have uh, this MIDI pack from Obit. Um, it's from their Shalou. Yep, and this is the one I really liked. So I was like, you know, I wanna use those chords inside a Playbox, so all you do is click and drag it in there. And now you can start playing with it. Super cool and easy there. But one thing I do have to do before I uh, jam with this loop is 
just transpose it a bit because the MIDI was in F major and this loop is in C major. So I just increased by seven semitones and we are good to go. And after ex some experimentation, I came up with this chord progression here. That's feeling a little bit high. So let's drop the octave down one. We can also drag MIDI out of Playbox. So let's say I found a chord progression that I really like inside of Playbox, like this one here, um, and I wanted to take these chords and put it on another MIDI instrument to layer with Playbox. Well, you can do that really easily. So all I have to do is just click and drag this little symbol and place it on that lane with that MIDI instrument. So this one here is um, like a super saw stack going on. So. So the MIDI has been exported and now I can chop it up and use it however I want. Now this next tip is probably how I'm gonna be using Playbox the most. I played keyboard for a long time, so creating chord progressions is something I really like to do. And Playbox gives you a way to instantly write in your own chords. Okay, so to write in your own chords, all I have to do is under the chords tab is click one of these circles here. And it'll turn red signifying that it's ready for you to record uh, with the play your MIDI keyboard. But before I do that, I wanna click the audition button here. So you can like hear what, what, what's being played. So I want to do something like this. Cool. So I like that chord progression. So now let me record it in. I am going to click this red circle here. See how it recorded all those things in there. Cool. Next. Great. Cool. <laughs> Next one. I think I want to do here, and then here. Great. So I'll ignore those. I won't worry about those at all. Let me drop it down an octave because it feels a little too high. And now let me uh, play what I got. I have my entire chord progression mapped out. I can play however I want. I can discover new patterns, uh, and it just really helps me break like these weird like creative ruts that you get in sometimes because you feel like you play the same thing over and over. So now let me go ahead and have fun with this loop. Oh, and hey, if you're really enjoying what you're learning about Playbox, go ahead and click the affiliate link down below where you can learn more about this pretty cool plugin. But let's say you'd rather use your own samples inside of Playbox. Well, good thing uh, you can do that. So instead of the samples panel, you can go ahead and just click and drag in a sample over one of these notes and it'll replace that uh, little sample there. For example, uh, let's see. There's some sounds in here that I'm like meh about, so I wanna, I wanna replace them. So inside of uh, my little DAW here, Bitwig, I have these samples that I've gathered. Yeah, all kinds of samples in C um, to make it really easy for me for this demo. I'm just gonna click and drag kind of randomly like this one. Cool, let's have it replace that one. So you'll see how I'm getting these like other samples. Great, I'm just like, I'm going random on this thing. Uh, this one, ooh. And let's hear how they sound. Cool, fun. Okay, so when something like this happens, you put it in and it sounds like distorted and in a bad way. What you can do is click that little magnifying glass and you can set the pitch here. So Playbox, it does analyze um, your samples and gives it a pitch, uh, but sometimes it's a little off. So you have to just kind of work with it. All right, so it's much better. Let's hear it in the context. And before I go on, if you're finding this video really helpful, then please uh, consider supporting the channel by clicking the like button. By clicking the like button, it's just a really simple and quick way to help this channel grow. Thanks. The effects panel inside of Playbox is really powerful. I'm not gonna go too in depth here. The big tip is really just to explore it and not to sleep on it. Um, I'll point out some of my favorite features inside the effects panel so you can start having fun with it. Okay, so in the effects panel, one of my favorite features is in this first drop down here. 
This gives you the option to make your chords an ARP, to have it strum, or to make it uh, grain. I feel like these settings can give you the right kind of movement. And what I've been really crazy about lately is grain here. So I'll have it off um, and I'll solo it. Here we go. Okay, and then with grain activated. And then you have up to seven different effect slots where you can drop in different effects. Um, they're listed right here. Uh, and just so you know, if, like if you're in Coral, for instance, if you click this little thing, it's like a mini preset menu for each of these effects in here if you wanna get a jump start on that creativity. And then below the effects, you have all these different ways that you can modulate, all these different ways that you can assign macros so to different parameters. To assign something is super easy, just click a plus sign. And then from this drop down, you can choose uh, where that modulation is coming from. So if you're looking at this and it's like, oh, I don't wanna deal with all that, there are a lot of great presets in the effects panel, which is 218, that's a whole lot. You can choose between different categories here to help narrow in on the kind of sound that you want. All right, so those are six of my favorite ways to use Playbox. If you wanna learn more about it, then just click the link down below. And if you're enjoying what you're learning, please like and subscribe. It'll help other music makers find this channel. Thanks so much for watching, later.